Hey, 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 everybody, and welcome to another episode of Blind Chops. I just finished uh, recording the last video, and after a slight food break, bathroom break, I am ready to just do another one. I'm getting back into this. This is Crash by someone. Gosh darn it. Okay, this map is by Jack is my name. Hi, Jack is my name. You made crash. So, first thing I notice, there's there's this uh, this car shop here, completely abandoned. This car will sit here for a long time. Uh, this is very reflective bonnet it's got. So first off, this radar is completely unreadable. Those, those this is the it it uh. Don't know if you can go inside those buildings or not, but as of now, it is uh, very, very uh, cluttered. Just to uh, open up Photoshop or GIMP or MS Paint or wh whatever you use and uh, edit in some hallways or whatever and, ta and erase all the oppressive building roofs. So I don't know which... which... Uh, bomb site looks simpler because this this radar is so cluttered but okay this is gonna be a long video okay 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 gosh darn it you know learning maps is a practicable skill it's a learnable skill you can get better at it and you know what I'm practicing right now I'm gonna learn this map and you're gonna watch me do it. Here's a helicopter. Looks like a custom prop. Good job. This fire. It's always looking at me. Here's a. Is this the bomb site? This is where the bomb site is. No, it's not. It's mislabeled. No, wait, it's it's upstairs. Here's the bomb site. The bomb site. Are we playing like insurgency right now? Uh, this bomb site takes place in this nice little diner area with uh... what is that? Is that is that a friggin bazooka? Or is it a replacement pipe for the plumbing? I don't know. I want to use it if it's a bazooka and if it's a pipe I could, it's a better than this dang knife and it would make just about the same sound if I whacked it against the wall. So T's can come in through here, up here uh... over here and here and uh... That, that's already like three too many. I, I'm gonna get into it. These are in about the same area. They can pretty much all be washed from up in this bomb site. Like that, uh, that this is backwards. Um... yeah you ha you can look here or you can like hide behind the helicopter tail that's pretty inventive and just look in this sort of area or you can have like two people here and if and if you're looking here you're always going to get shot by someone from here because the other person is going to be too slow uh and you you just got to live with that where else can CT set up camp i can hide in the helicopter which is tremendously cheeky this this is dumb. This is the same problem that Heat had. This is just paper thin. You can shoot. Can't tell if I actually went through it that time. Is this, is this the bulletproof? Or is, or is it just Truman Show texture again? Okay. Not sure if you can actually shoot through here. If you can, it's stupid. And if you can't, this it's still stupid. It's a cool motif. But like, tear some more holes in here, or whatever. Make this like a big cave, or just take the windows out overall, because that's just imbalanced, and cheeky, and underpowered, and overpowered at the same time. It makes everything worse. I sound like I'm in a bad mood, but I'm not. I'm in the best mood ever, because I get to tear my teeth into this friggin' ice cream sandwich of a it's of a map. The CTs can also sort of sit back here. That is pretty nice. You can hide behind these. Hide behind this 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 is just 
complete just buffet of heads here that you could just hide anywhere and you could come in through everywhere. Right now this seems a little bit in favor of the CTs, but I it's really hard to tell. Like like while CTs can like hide in about a billion different places, T's have something like seven. Can you get up there? If you can get up there, that I don't think you can get up can get up there. Faith in humanity restored, am I right? Of course. When when do CTs get here? I can't tell where CT spawn is. You know what, I'm just gonna check where CT spawn is right now. M. Counter terrorists. Okay. You spawn right next to bomb site B. Okay. That is good to know. Let's go, let's go. Uh you know what? I'm just gonna stay as a CT for the rest of this video because you know, I don't wanna wait another fifteen seconds. And I'm gonna fly back to T spawn. It's uh it's right here by the car car repair shop. Um, but yeah, T's and CT's are about the same distance away from bomb site A, which means as soon as this guy po pokes his head through here, someone else is poking his head through here. Unless, like, there's this dang straight path from CT spawn that I missed before. Like, you, you know how I said that I chopped seven minutes off of the zoo video because I just kept on wandering around talking about my dang childhood aquarium memories and figuring out the layout and bomb site B because that bomb site is friggin' bucket of floss. Uh, this this is going to be a, a bit more of an editing trip. I, I think we have the basic idea of bomb site A down. We can sort of... Is that... A, okay. You can you can climb up this ladder. There's new ladder sounds. You you have complete overlooking power over T spawn and you can get here there from here too up these stairs. These aren't clips. This map is a mess. Oh wait, no, this is I'm above bomb site A. You go to you okay, got that a little bit wrong. This is bomb site A can't tell because I don't have the bomb icon flashing, but this is, that's, would be a good reason to switch back to Seaside. So as I was saying, uh, this is, uh, this is bomb site A, and, and we'll, we'll be able to see uh, where bomb site B is, just in case it's planted on the seventh floor of some industrial complex. So, we have this on look over everyone coming in through CT spawn. You know what? This is a good idea. Okay. I'm a ghost you fall through that windowsill. Edge carefully over. Mm, no. Okay, that is slightly okay. So you're a little bit obstructed damage wise shooting over here. And if you hop on here, this is pretty much the, the best thing you can do. Hop on here and shoot everyone. <laughs> okay, this map is co a complete and utter mess. I like complex maps, but not when they have overpowered areas like this. You know, complex plus open isn't a good combination. Like Hotel Gellert, it's its uh, complexity is managed because you can't see every bit of the map from every point of it. Uh, so, so yeah, strive for corridors, not courtyards. So this bomb site is just duck hunting range for both teams. Okay, got that. Undercovers. So, does this map have a mid? Honestly, if I went down a random corridor, I wouldn't be able to tell if it was a mid. What is this? This looks like just a normal pathway to be. Uh, years along B, or some. What is going on over here? What is this? What is this map? What is life? Okay, here's A. You can just 
This map is kind of tiny. It's really small. It's but it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's also it's also so devastatingly complex. Uh, random car in the middle. It should be a crate. Here's a ladder. Go up it. You know what? I'm okay with the new ladder sounds. They're not as audible. Maybe that was a balancing factor, but I kind of like them. This is another place to watch A from. I'm, I'm, I, th I think this map might be CT sided. Incredibly. Open maps are pretty CT sided. This is like some sort of documentary on like the systematic oppression by the police system. Like, show us just, just bring all your grade school children and teach them a lesson about discrimination through violent video games. Like, you, you gonna play as a different nationality? Oh, whoops, you lost everything. Okay, let's find out where Bombsite B is. Uh, here it is. It's not marked. I. Okay, it's be it's behind these road dividers. So, it is not the seventh floor of a sprawling industrial complex, but uh, it's still unmarked, which makes it just as bad. So this bomb site seems a fair bit more. Okay, what is this? What is going on here? Is this mid? Is this mid? No, this is. Okay, this whole map is a mid. This map is a mid. It's just, it's just a mid with, with a friggin' jungle gym in the middle or something. I don't know. The jungle gym is... The whole thing is mid. I don't know. This is... Why, why, are, why are these here? You can't... You can't duck under them. Your head's still exposed. You're, you're a sitting dang counter-terrorist. I don't like this map that much. I don't know why it's getting so much popularity. I mean, it still looks great. It's a great-looking map. And you know what? I can't fault it for that. It's, and it seems the visibility is okay as well. It's like it's like dust too. There's a lot of warm and bright colors. I mean, light colors, not really bright. It's not saturated. Not that much contrast. There's a, there's a set palette. This was obviously made by someone who knew what they were doing. These are too reflective to be real. Okay, like we're learning about bombsite B. Have a nice place to have a picnic, and uh, this. When you go up, you get refrigerator. Someone probably used to live here. What a shame. From here, you can see this. You can fight with people on this roof that you get through from. Probably T's are accessing that a little bit more than CTs are, because uh, they help T's a little bit more. This overlooks the long area from bombsite B. This is just a very safe position but you can see everything through a narrow slot. This map is absurdly intricate, but this intricate intricacy is being completely overshadowed by the the chaotic nature of the map. I'm not sure what I would change. I guess I would just get rid of a couple random buildings, make a couple spaces more closed off from each other, uh, Add a whole bunch of walls everywhere. More walls is more enthralls. But yeah, that could make this pretty fun. And also fix this dang helicopter. Don't like tiny windows. Is, is, the, is this overview, like, out of line? Like, there's not a roof above me, but I can see it on the overview. Okay, that's a good thing that I noticed, especially considering the overview is terrible. I know I'm ragging on this map a little bit too hard, but it's definitely a project worth partaking in. Like, it's not like this whole thing was a complete waste of time. It could definitely be fixed. This is not an unfixable mess. I could see a playable map inside of this slithering, writhing mass desperately trying to be released of its, uh, of its hell. Uh, and that can... that, that, that map can be a reality if just put up a couple fences, knock over a couple buildings, and uh, just make everything a bit uh, 
tighter. You know? Okay. What? Is, okay, we were here before. Okay, I, I'm I'm Mr. Taxon, and uh, please, please map responsibly. Obviously, that did not happen here. <laughs>